there Cancer, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your abundance update for November. So in this reading Cancer we look at all things job, work, money, career, investment, finance, all that kind of thing, opportunities. Uh, generally if all the cups come up it's fulfillment rather than the love though sometimes our relationships show ourselves in these readings because it can be connected and influence our abundance in our work sector as well so let's get started here cancer I'll be working with the angels of abundance first then drawing you an overarching tarot card from the moon child tarot before the, before getting out the aspects with the rider weight and the star child tarot so let's go and see what the overarching messages are from the Abundance Angels. That one's not going in, I'll take it. Attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. Absolutely, that's the magician's work. It's becoming a vibrational match for that that you want to attract. So if you want to be, you know, um, full of uh, opportunity coming your way, then how can you feel um, like full of possibility on the inside? Uh, if you want to be, feel, you know, rich in material abundance, how can you feel rich within yourself? So you get the concept, you know, it's about lining up with it and being it rather than, you know, grasping for it because that is usually coming from a place of wanting or a place of lack. Take this one here, words of abundance. Yes, you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So we've got a message here going on of, you know, really... Um, lining up on the inside as above so below making sure that we have that strong inner game because that is what we're putting out there into the world like the magician and then we magnetize back from that place so staying really positive around our abundance trying not to, to fall into the lack mentality I have got the Two of Swords, it's been coming out quite a lot lately now the Two of Swords means that you might be weighing up options or you might be trying to make a key decision of whether to walk a new path, whether to stay or go. We'll see how this plays out. The reminder with the Two of Swords is not to allow our emotions to cloud our decision making. We want to make our decisions from a place of fact and logic. Yes, that's the, the positive side of the intellect, but also from the intuition, right? Feeling into it. Which one feels right? Which one feels right at a cellular level? Because we don't want to overthink too much. Otherwise, we can make our decisions from either you know our ego or sort of a knee-jerk reaction um, what, rather than what we truly want at a soul level. So you could be facing a key decision uh, this month. Let's get out the aspects with the rider weight. So I'll be giving these a shuffle cancer until... The first card falls or flips and then choosing the positions. We will be starting with the recent past energies, leaving, completing, transitioning in terms of abundance. What has led you to this situation? If this is your reading for Cancer, 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 Cancer. That one's flipping. I'm going to take it. Oh, Wheel of Fortune straight up. Yeah, this is a point of karmic change for you. Predestined change. The wheel is turning. A change of luck. A change of fortune. Let's get your blocks, obstacles, or challenges. Card of Scorpio, the King of Cups. We'll see what the clarifier is for that one to get more information. I have got in the Advice from Spirit or Tarot, the Six of Cups. Beautiful card of receiving, receiving abundance. And I've got the Knight of Cups in the outcome. So we've got, we do have a bit of Cups energy going on here. For me, these can be messengers of opportunity. So let's get the clarifiers, Cancer. Clarifying now for you the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Eight of Swords, there's the overthinking energy and the Hanged Man. I love that combination. Beginning to see things from a new perspective. Let go and surrender to the new. I have got 
The Nine of Wands, clarifying the King of Cups, also makes a lot of sense. You are so close to change, Cancer. I've got the Knight of Cups again. Two Knight of Cups. Hmm, there could be some love interests here in the mix as well. And I've got the star, the beautiful star, the Aquarian energy in the Major Arcana. Yeah, this opportunity that's coming in for you is absolutely going to be aligned with your soul's purpose and bring you great fulfillment. There is a weighing up of options here and let's just jump in and see why that may be. So Cancer, in your recent past, so this could be the energy that's upon you right now. Hanged Man, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. Well, I mean, let's start with the Eight of Swords actually. I mean, the Eight of Swords can be the energy of being stuck up in the mind in our mental prison. And, you know, the more we kind of overthink things and, and get really attached with the stories and the scripts that maybe, you know, tell us that we're not worthy or that we're not good enough or that we can't take this opportunity because, you know, oh, who do you think you are? Or I don't have the skills for that or I'm too old to do that or I can't relocate at this stage. Whatever it is for you. This is what the Eight of Swords is about. It's self-imposed limitations through the mind. None of those things are true. You know, it just is what is. And you can take whatever steps at any stage of your life that you truly want. So the, the thing about the Eight of Swords in the Rider version of this card, we see the, the person who is bound around, bound and blinded, bound and gagged around the, the third eye, the heart, and the gut. Whenever I see this card, it's a reminder that the more we get stuck in the mind, the less access we have to our intuition. And the reason why we want access to our intuition is because that's where we can access our truth and really make the decisions from that right place that we talked about. So we want to you know, try and quieten the energy of the, of the mind and the ego at the moment. Now... We've got the hanged man here and the wheel of fortune. So karmic change is upon you. And they always say with the wheel of fortune, you know, look to the cards around you to see which way it's falling. Well, I've got the star, the knight of cups, six of cups at the end of this reading. You are being shifted uh, to line up with opportunities that are um, in line with, let's say, your, your soul's purpose or your divine wish fulfillment, the star. So it's a really positive change. And what it's really saying is that you may be ending a karmic cycle. And it could have been a karmic cycle where there have been stresses around work, around abundance, around money. And maybe that's why, you know, we have that attracting, not chasing oracle card. It's time to get out of the scarcity mindset to relax and just to magnetize success towards you. This is a card of predestiny. It's really time for the shift to happen in your life. And you could be closing out a 10-year cycle and setting up for the next decade here to Cancer. Now, the hanged man here is the kind of antidote to your eight of swords. This is uh, the encouragement to see things from a new perspective, to change your viewpoint. How can you see things differently, Cancer? Instead of thinking, you know, I'm in lack or I'm a victim here, it could just be, I have gratitude for what I've had. I'm grateful for the lessons that I've had in the past, and now I'm taking inspired action in this present moment in order to create a different future for myself. And from that place, I will attract abundance. See, it's just reframing, the positive reframe. The hanged man asks you to, you know, surrender to the old. To die the death of the hanged man is to release what is not working for you in terms of your abundance, your work, and your finance. And we have the King of Cups here, card of Scorpio, or in Scorpio season, it's the time to release the old, to clear your slate. The hanged man sometimes is waiting for that sense of enlightenment, that aha moment, in order to move forward in you know the right direction for you so there could be some information some insight that is going to come through that is going to help you get to that place of acceptance and surrender and then you can liberate through that and i really feel that this information is going to come through the intuition not the intellect which is why we're sort of being shown here that that's what needs to to quieten down so there we go. You might have been in a bit of a holding pattern. There might have been a bit of stagnancy for you in terms of your, you know, your work and your, um, you know, your, your job opportunities and that. But I feel like things are about to get moving um, again as well. 
So here in the blocks, obstacles or challenges, King of Cups, Nine of Wands, you are so close, Cancer, to some kind of big release. Yeah, I think it's what, you know, the trigger that, that turns that wheel. The Nine of Wands is a nine. It's an almost but not quite energy. Um, it's the energy of I feel like you have kind of endured a few battle scars when it comes to this area of your life, your abundance creation. But, you know, the King of Cups is saying here that, you know, the key lies to, you know, when in tuning into your truth, your intuition, your compassion, staying emotionally grounded and stepping up into your king energy. The king energy is mature, compassionate, dominant when he or she needs to be, speaking truth, all of those kinds of qualities. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio person. If it's not a Scorpio, it could be boss, mentor, manager, or something like that, that is fundamental in this shift for you. But the Nine of Wands is saying you're one wand away, one inspired action away from the Ten of Wands, which is releasing a burden, a weight, a stress, and being able to open up your view, hanged man, to many other pathways, many other opportunities and I think you can feel that and very soon I think you're going to be choosing between a couple of them two of swords so that's what I'm seeing there now the advice from spirit or tarot oh it's so clear here six of cups and knight of cups it says cancer you better be ready to receive you better be open because there's an opportunity that is going to come in for you knight of cups not only one opportunity but two, and I do believe, Cancer, these are the two opportunities that you are going to be choosing between. Now, what I see here is that one of these opportunities could be offered to you from somebody that you have connected with in the past. Could be someone you've worked with, could even be, you know, someone you've been in a romantic connection with, could be someone you know from childhood, went to school with, went to uni with, um, apprenticeship with or something like that with the Six of Cups. Somebody wants to offer you an opportunity that potentially could bloom, could expand and could lead to a greater sense of joy, love, harmony, fulfillment, satisfaction. Now we're going to have two opportunities here potentially and what I see in these two opportunities is that one might look really shiny on the outside, maybe it's got a really nice kind of um, pay packet attached to it or something like that um, and the other one I feel might might pay less but it's more you know aligned with your heart it's kind of got that fulfillment factor so this could be what you're weighing up and I would say my advice would be to go with the heart option the one that makes you feel more fulfilled, the one that you feel is more in alignment with your soul cancer because, you know, when we love what we do, we never work a day in our life and when we love what we do and we're kind of putting all of our natural energy into it, that's when the abundance follows, right? That's when we attract and not chase abundance. So I think you're going to have two key opportunities here to choose from cancer and the star is saying that the one that you choose, and I feel like you will make the right choice here, is aligned with your divine wish fulfillment, the star, and it's going to help you realize some quite big dreams for yourself. Um, the star is also a card of rebirth and regeneration, recalibration. Again, we're in Scorpio season, so this is the new, this is the phoenix rising, this is the new emergence as in a new identity, and in maybe in a new role or in a new investment whatever it is for you that is coming in. Talks about healing the past. If you have been in a place of lack, that place of chasing, letting that go, healing it, dreaming big and wishing big cancer because there are opportunities coming in. You will be weighing them up. And my advice is to choose from your intuition rather than your in intellect. Now, Cancer, I realized I didn't pull the two finance cards for you. I think I may have left them off one of the... One of the readings that I uploaded last night, my bad, I will make sure I give it to them next time. Look at this. Choose from your intuition, Cancer. Here comes the High Priestess. You know, this was supposed to be in the money sector. It just keeps on coming back to feeling into your intuition when you make any big decisions. Um, this 
month and that is going to make sure that there's no hidden surprises right behind that pomegranate curtain you know if you use your intuition and really feel into you know what's really the right decision for you then you can avoid those surprises um you know things that might be hiding behind the scenes get all the details get all the facts let's get one more this one here ah there's the Two of Swords again and the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. The Knight of Pentacles says to me that, you know, you're planting new seeds and the, the abundance will follow. The Knight of Pentacles is an energy of having patience. Good things can take time, but there's a sense here that you are laying a new foundation, choosing a new um, opportunity. The karmic wheel is shifting and if you follow your intuition, make the right choice, prepare that land to take the seed, then this opportunity will grow into something abundant quite quickly. Maybe not right now, but in the next season. And I think sooner than that, you will start to see the tangible results, you know, the achievements, the rewards from the situation. So there you have it, Cancer. Potentially a couple of opportunities coming in for you to, to choose between. A karmic cycle, um, getting into a good place where you're attracting, not chasing, seeing things from a different perspective and really using that intuition. Okay, Cancer, so I'm going to leave it here and I do hope you enjoyed this abundance update for November. Keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective, so it may not be everybody's reading in its entirety this month. Feel free to drop me a comment. I read each and every one and do my best to reply to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what's happening in the collective and I will see you back here throughout the month for plenty more readings.